hi guys so now we are going to discuss largest rectangle in histogram problem here we get a list of integers where each integer represents the height of bar graph in a histogram you have to find the largest rectangle and return its area okay so for example in this example we see rectangle of height 5 and width 2 is the maximum and we return 10 units this let's make an example for our own so let's say this is a lead code number 4 we have a list with values 3 4 2 and 1 and then again 1 and 5 here if we see we are trying to find the largest rectangle the one possibility is is the rectangle with width 5 and height 1 and the second possibility is rectangle of height 5 width 1 however we have a better possibility here of rectangle of height 2 and width 3 6 however here we will see a simpler case only up to 1 to simplify the discussions for this we there are many ways to solve it we will solve it using a stack so we make a stack where we initialize the value to minus 1 we will add a 0 to the height up and and we initialize the area to be 0 we make a loop so this is the own algorithm it will go where n is the length of the least which is the heights so for i in range of length heights we check if the height at highth position is less than the height at the index given by stack so stack is minus one because it's representing the last height which is one here and the height at zeroth value is the three here and since this condition not satisfied we will come down and here the stack dot append i so it means we will append the stack with value what will be that value it will be zero so we stack the append with value zero then we update i is equals to one and here the height at one is four and again this value is larger than but height is four and this value is larger than the height at zero index, which is three so again we will append zero we will append one to this index now i will comes two and high at two is two which is less than height at the top most elements of the stack which is one index one so height at index one is four and height as index to the current index is two so the condition is satisfied and now the height is given by the height at stack dot pop so we pop one from here and the value of h becomes the height at index one which is four and width is given by i minus one so two minus one is one minus stack the last value of stack and now we have popped one so one is no longer there zero is there so two minus one is one so the area at this point is four okay and then we increase the i is equals to three and the height at three is equals to one which is the end of the array list and then height at i is equals to three is one which is less than the height at zero index three and here zero is the topmost is the only value left in stack so the condition is satisfied and the height is equals to height at zero so zero is three index three index zero is three height is three and width is equals to i minus one so it's three minus one two minus tag upper part of the stack there is nothing in stack here so it will be just three minus one is equals to two and now the area we have is six and now we have finished the iterating let's see so the map out of four and six we we have the largest six and we return six 
and that's how we implemented here area is equals to max of area and the product of these two and another case we are pending the stack so basically stack here contains the height in increasing order ascending order and whenever we found uh, the new height is smaller than the top heights in stack we keep popping and computing areas and we replace the max area whenever we get we get a new area which is larger than the previous value in the end we return the our area so let's say here we compute 6 with algorithm let's see if 6 is being satisfied in the example so we see now this is the rectangle rectangle of 1 2 3 I might make it a little longer so that you can visualize it 3 width is 3 and height is 2 3 into 2 is 6 6 so on so I hope it's uh, useful and if you play through this uh, pseudo algorithm or code a few times you will be able to get the concept and we use python here because it's uh, so very popular these days for machine learning or most of the job interviews so